Hello and welcome back from me, Admiral. Joining me once again on Star Trek Fleet Command. So this episode is going to be a little bit of an update to see where the game is at and predominantly where I'm at within the game. Uh, what we've got to work on to come over the next couple or, well, a couple of weeks slash month. Uh, I also want to inform you I go on holiday a week today uh, for basically a week. It's for five days, so... There won't be any content, not next week, but the week after, uh, unless I can sort of pre-upload some stuff. I also will be doing content on updates for the other games that I've been playing, uh, especially Star Wars um, coming. So I just wanted to put that in there as well. And that is, I think, about it. So joining me on the game, we've managed to do a few things over the last couple of days slash this week. Obviously, we managed to complete Parabellum yesterday, for example, as yesterday, Friday, I mean. Managed to complete Parabellum and stuff like that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show. No, it's not going to. But yeah, so we've just got a few things that we need to sort of do and work on or work towards. Obviously, we need to do Unity, which is today's event, which is, you know, the Battle Pass reward. We have been doing some you know, other key stuff. So we have been trying to help out on that. And we have been looking at to do in like these ones, for example, gain officer shards. This is not a very difficult one to do. So this one's definitely doable. So recommend being able to do that. So uh, I just want to make sure I click these just because that's part of the event today. And then we're going to go do the officer polls now. And then we're going to just have a little chat about the base and where we're at with the base and all the other shenanigans that need to come with it. Are we okay with this? No, we've only got 100, so I'll leave that one for now. All right, we'll do that pull there. I think we do normally like two of these and then, or like, might do, I'll probably just do two. We'll do two there. Let's have a little look, see if we've got anything nice. Uh, we've got some decent ones. We finally unlocked Fest, which is nice. Um, yeah. What does he do? Plus 55% to base mining speed. Protected cardio is reduced by 30%, but you can offset that with other officers. So that's pretty decent. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll do two of them. So should have stayed on that. Never mind. Two of them and then one of the premium. Come on. Um, the game's been a bit weird with me lately, but it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's doing okay been a bit laggy in some areas but overall say it's been okay so we'll do that and then that should be enough to do that entire event i believe if not we'll just pull some more from the premium uh yeah cool okay <clears throat> do we need to do any there no these are the other shards the pack that they've added as well so you can get these now for this new currency obviously each one has their own so you've got Elite Federation recruitment tokens, as well as obviously Romulan and Klingon. Uh, and you do get basically um, all the basic officers, i.e. like Kirk and stuff. They're the, sort of the original sort of um, officers that we used to have when we first started the game. And then we've got the TOS versions now as well, as well as obviously when I say original, we do Marcus as well, Pike. you got all the TOS stuff um, in terms of the epic as well as the rares down here, all the TOS stuff. Um, other than Beverly Crusher. And then we've got a few others up the top here from the original stuff. So Spark of Horror Bones. And we've got Harrison. Then we've got Yuki and stuff as well. And then a few uncommons, which no one really cares about. Zao's okay still. Um, no one really cares about the rest. Um, Romulin, we've got Seller in here. And again, no one really cares too much about the rest. <laughs> no one really cares about seller either it seems but yeah it's a, not great that one and then you got obviously klingon and you got some other you know decent ones like honor guard wharf in here as well and stuff so pretty good you know you can sort of spread around if you can get hands on them uh, i still am working towards getting three of 11 because i do want to get her because of her abilities so gas minus speed plus 300 percent protected cargo which is really really good so we do want to get here, but we're just building up our shards, just by waiting 
waiting around until we have basically enough. So we're just building up our shards to get her. Um, then go back. This one I mean by the lag. Uh, it's a little bit slow at the moment. Uh, and then, yeah, so that should in should have done our event. Yes, 60 million. We are building up our Tritanium quite nicely. Uh, and we just managed to do the station staffing. So 600 million fast deal there. Again, that's a pretty good event, that one, by the way. If you can do it, if you have it available to you, which is this one, uh, it's actually a pretty decent event. Um, so definitely try and do this. Obviously, this is up for my level, so level 39. I don't know if the rewards are the same for everyone. Uh, probably not, I would hazard a guess. But but yeah, it's, it's pretty decent in terms of the rewards. Um, they seem to have upped the rewards quite substantially uh, this month in terms of some of the events. Uh, I have noticed an increase of Parsteel and Tritanium this month um, compared to certainly last month, for example. Uh, but yeah, in, in terms of the base, We've got 11 days left on the dry dock and that we are then at level 39. So we are fully updated with that. Then we're going to focus on the defense platform, get that to 39. In terms of inside the base, so that's outside. We're going to focus on them predominantly. Inside the base, we don't really have anything to upgrade that I am urgently in need for it to be upgraded. But we're going to re upgrade the refinery um, after we do the defense platform. So this will get done. Uh, then we'll probably obviously work on uh, maybe work on the shuttle bay as well since you do get some okay-ish stuff from this so damage obviously weapon damage and so on um service award costs and stuff so some decent stuff there so we'll probably work on that as well all the all of this is going to get worked on prior to going to level 40 with the base we're just holding off on this uh, making sure we've got the resources available to us, which we do. And then we'll just work on this as and when our research catches up. In terms of research, going on to that now, we're doing pretty well. We've got two obviously getting done at the moment, uh, which is Explorer Tactics, uh, just so that we can max out the Explorer tree as we've now finished the, the Battleship tree. So we're going to max out this Explorer tree. So we'll do the Explorer Targets and Ray and Firepower next. And then in terms of Galaxy, we're working on doo -doo 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 -doo, space critical resistance. And the reason we're working on this is because we want to finish. Where are they? Uh, have I gone past it? Yeah, there they are. So we want to finish these shield gener uh, modifications and hold durability. So we want to get these to level 10. And the way to do that is to get the weapons, which means we have to do the space critical, which is what we're working on. And then we can then do the weapon re, uh, refactor. So we can then do this. Um, but we need them to basically need this at level five, which is, like I say, what we're working on now. Then do that, get that up to level three. Once that's at level three, we should then be able to put another level onto this and another level onto this as the shield modification comes first. So, and then, yeah, we just then got level 10 to do. Um, which hopefully means we can do it straight away. But if not, we'll have to just go back and do maybe these again. Um, but yeah, not a big deal with regards to that. So we want to try and get them just to increase our obviously ships even more so. Uh, and we have been working on a few other things like Explorer and Battleship Warp. Interceptor, not so much because I don't really use in any interceptors right now. Um, as you know, we've managed to get the Spectrum all dialed in for the time being. Uh, and then, yeah, we've managed to get a couple more levels on the Pure, for example. Um, we've got a couple more levels on this. Uh, we've got one more level on the base mining brick for ore as well. We do need to get the gas one up, but again, not in a huge rush for that one. Uh, we could probably do with maybe getting wrong with stealth technology as well, because that will help us uh, as well with regards to the auger. Uh, and then, yeah, other than that, that's pretty much this tree. We're just slowly working our way through this tree. Uh, we've obviously got the star base tab now as well, which we can obviously dive into. Uh, so I do want to try and get this one done as well. Increased base weapon damage against Cardassian Armada targets. So, yeah, we do want to get these done to help towards the Armada stuff. Um, coming soon, don't know what that is, but yeah, cool. And then loads of other stuff coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. Uh, but yeah, we do want to try and work our way just to help towards the Cardassian Armadas because they seem to be incredibly powerful uh, starships. 
we haven't really focused much on this because we don't have the Mantis. Um, so Mantis stuff, I haven't obviously done it all. Um, Ceratos stuff, we haven't done that much of. Uh, I did want to do that, but I sort of got sidetracked with then just upgrading other stuff because the Ceratos sort of got put on a back burner for me as such. Uh, I'm not really too focused on that. Uh, Outlaws, again, you know what my thing is with the Stella. Don't really focus on it too much. I should, but I don't. Um, so yeah, I should be doing these, but I, yeah, it just, yeah, just bores me. And then station again, we just don't really focus too heavily on station right now as there's nothing really in it to uh, warrant focusing on it. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing with the research, but mainly we're focusing on ship, basically strength, uh, as we are still nowhere near of getting <laughs> like the jellyfish, for example, um, Still nowhere near getting a jelly, still nowhere near getting obviously the higher level ships uh, as I'm, I need to be level 42 for that anyway. So we're not in a rush to get to the sort of higher level ships. Uh, where am I going? So jelly, yeah, still miles away. Still need like virtually a hundred, just under a hundred still shards for that. So absolutely miles away still for that one. And then in terms of your Romulan ship, which is the Valdor, uh, we don't have anything towards that and we can't get it until level 42 anyway. So not in a huge rush to get to them. Uh, we will have the minor for it though, the tier star four star minor. Uh, so that's pretty decent. But yeah, that's a little update to where we are at the moment. Tell me where you are. Tell me what, what you're working on coming up uh, and let me know how your life is going within Star Trek Fleet Command. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Fly safe. Bye-bye for now.